Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Alright, give us a call. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Who do we have on the line? Good morning, uh, Good morning, sir. Right, your name again? Comrade Mukosa. Mukosa, all right, go. Yes, uh, the problem I have with Market is that he's mixing up politics with the East Provision. He's telling us that the UPND has taken back the eligibility uh, case after the ruling of the, the court. Which law, which court in Zambia ruled that Yeti Gamongo was eligible to stand in prison? What? Because as far as my, my mind, uh, my, um, uh, what, what, I, uh, what I know is that there is no court in Zambia that ruled that Yeti Gamongo or pronounced itself that Yeti Gamongo was eligible to stand in prison. What? The only thing the court did was to explain what the term is. And the, 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 the cause that they explained was not, um, uh, was, it was not concerning the sitting president. It is about the running and who assumed the office of the president after something happens to the, 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 the president. So when you, you want to uh, mix up politics and uh, your profession, this is the problem that we have. You, you cannot continue misleading people in the name of you being a lawyer, but what you are saying, what you are doing is politics. Huh? The, the president has uh, suspended those judges out of what the, 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 out of the report which was presented to him by the by the JCC. We wanted him to sit on the report, but as him acting, you are saying the president is abusing uh, the corruption because the, those officers, those institutions, their officers are in his office. But you know that the president is anything that the office is in Kundola or in Kumunilunga. If you want to abuse it, you will have a president that wants to abuse his power. So you should, should be wrapping up and giving him an answer. Where the office are, that's what makes, can make a president to abuse his power. No. Well, we are just lucky that we have a president that has got in Kima, Organiza. All right, Mr. Mukosa, Mr. Mukosa, thank you so much. Uh, I know you can hear me. I've given you enough time. We need to accommodate other callers. 974 uh, I hope I need to respond this in, uh, to this Actual immediately service. because he's saying I'm mixing politics with my profession. My profession is under attack. I have a duty to protect my profession. I have a duty to have people believe that they'll go to a lawyer and they'll go and get justice from court. If people no longer think that they'll get justice from court, they will not come to me. They will not come to, to, to they will not go to any lawyer. They will settle it on the streets and that is a recipe for anarchy in this country. I will mix politics and my profession if it calls for me to do so for purposes of protecting the integrity of the judiciary, the integrity of our systems, the, 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 the unity of our country as well as our democracy. We have to do that. Let's take in another pause. Your line seven four eight seven zero eight seven seven if you have a question or contribution to make our guest this morning is Bosaka lawyer Makebi Zulu. Hello, good morning. Hello? Hello, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, okay, thanks your name? Mr. Zulu one of the how are you? I'm okay sir, how are you? You are speaking to Mr. Chikubabe. Yes, Mr. Chikubabe. You, Mr. Mr. Zulu, you are speaking very well. Continue advising the people of Uganda. You know, this country we are in late, the crisis. The crisis we are taking now, Mr. Zulu, is about the leadership. If you can look at it in the SPC, the way they are working in this country, you can be very, very surprised. There are so many scandals under this government of UPC. Have you heard about the, the SEC song again? The answer is no. If you can look at it in the thick report, the time when they do a great power about 2.2 billion billion in this rate at the end of the room. Today it has gone about to take 2.5 billion. Eh? Where is the SEC? Where is the 
for the world to get into the EA in this country. Where is it? I'm sure we are a country, let us be very clear. We know everything that is happening in this country. All this kind of this sort of judgment. We know that's because of the case of the Edgar Hoover. So, Mr. Zorro, do not be worried. Leave this case in the hands of the Zambia. The man has failed. He has got nothing to do with the country. What he needs just to follow the Edgar Hoover. Five years of being just ended with that enough now. Look at what I said. They went ahead and advised the general meeting to come and see the Zambia. Very, very unfortunate for that. I'm sure that people are just waiting. These are people who exported our men. Right, you should be wrapping up. I've given you enough time. Mr. Thank you so much. What I'm saying is that look at the Kariba Dam today. Because of the poor leadership, they exported our power. Here in Zambia, we are struggling. Then they are just busy following Edgar Road. We are not going to, uh, to, to allow that. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, let's just take in one more, and then I'll allow you to respond also. Hello, good morning. You're through to the hot seat. Hello. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Your name? Uh, my name is Mr. Piri. I didn't hear Mr. Piri, all right, go on. Yes, good morning, Mr. Mokev. Mr. Piri, how are you? I'm okay. I'm just suffering here. We are all suffering, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. I'm okay. 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 Ya <laughs> If it is a ability of president, it can be a court of the United to stand. Since my lecture has offered the council, I am not going to have a church. I must understand and find my lecture. Question number one. Will I make a bill on TV speaking on behalf of us? And I'm very impressed why we are coming here because we are seeing. Yes. See, Mr. Chikubabe, your observations are correct. There has been recklessness in the leadership of this government. When PF was in power, they said it's not a matter of climate change, it's poor leadership. Dubai has no drop of rain and yet they have electricity the whole time. I will tell you that when PF was in government, prior to leaving, we started a nuclear project where we said we are going to have a nuclear power plant to power our country because we could foresee that the effects of climate change were going to be devastating. We sent a number of students and we have over a hundred graduates from Russia that were trained. We started a nuclear project there in Chongwe. The moment that this government came in power, uh, pandering to the, to, 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 to the whims of the Americans, they cancelled that program. That nuclear program is dead. It was being handled by the late Roland Musiska. They have killed it. The graduates, the over 100 graduates that we got from Russia, our own people, uh, Zambian people that we trained, are now on the streets. They are, or they've gone elsewhere to make use of that skill that we spent money to train them on. All because this person uh, called President Hakande Chilema was just interested in having power. We had uh, over, uh, millions, uh, 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 1.5 million metric tons of maize. We had it here for food security. What did they say? Himself and Mutolo Piri sold that maize and said we can, ha we have enough maize for the next two or three years. And now they are saying we don't have maize. Well, the we are going to import. That there were farmers that were being owed that needed 
supposed to be paid. And that that is not true at all. That is not true. Listen, we had that program, the 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 program, the e-voucher program, meaning that the money was paid in advance. There's nothing like the, no farmer was uh, was paid. There was the supply of maize and farmers were being paid. That is just not true. They 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 lied about the storage thing. You didn't hear Mutolo Piri saying we are going to sell because there's no storage. He says we are going to sell because we have more than enough. He didn't say because farmers have not been paid. He says we have to help our brothers. Lufuma Ambrose came and said we've gotten millions of dollars from Kenya. They said they were going to sell to the Congo DR and they sold. After selling, we are in this crisis and now we are uh, 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 we're importing maize that has aflatoxins uh, and we're saying no, 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 no. Uh, it is not us. It is uh, poor leadership in the PF. Everything they have to find someone to, uh, to blame. So Mr. Chukubave, the very information that you are saying this, tell your neighbors to tell their neighbors that we have been failed. Having been failed by all legal means necessary, let's correct the situation in this country and do what is right. And I um, ask a question as to what uh, the outcome of, the, of, of, of this matter would be. As the matter is in court, I'm not able to go into detail. But what we are arguing in court, the argument that we are taking to the court is that, listen, this matter where you are challenging the nomination of President Edgar Chagwalungu should have been brought at that time, not now, because this is amounting to an election petition and these people are out of time. That's the argument that we are presenting. And the conclusion of our argument is that if you are going to deal with this as an election petition, it means that you have to nullify that election. And if you are going to nullify that election, it means that the same way you said that when the ministers say, stayed in power for that duration when they should not have stayed in power, and uh, you ordered them to pay back their money, it means that President Haka Inde Ichilema, all his ministers that are there, all his appointees, will have to pay back the money that have earned during this period because they were illegally there. That is going to be the conclusion of our, our, our argument. But I can only restrict myself to what we are arguing or what arguments we are taking before court as to the effect of uh, of their judgment. All right, let's get back to the phone line zero nine seven four eight seven zero eight seven seven. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. You're through to the hot seat. Yeah, good morning, man. Good morning. Thanks. Your name? Why, thank you. This is also. Good morning, we get to uh, my kid is over. How are you doing? I'm all right, sir. How are you? Yeah, fine, thank you. Yeah, uh, only I, I'll talk about it. I'm talking about the three competing values. And uh, I respect your lamentation, okay? Which, of course, can be the challenge to the challenge you want to go to the time. And, sir, uh, stop reading on your name. You are even disrupting our uh, presenter. Let the presenter clear questions nicely. Okay? Now, coming back to you, it is the public and president, even where it's somewhere in the letter of the law, because the suspension of the three judges is as a result of the recommendation by the JCC, the current judicial Supreme Commission. And like in the past, we remember 2011, 2012, when we saw one of uh, three high court judges being fired at the same time by one former president. Very just contested in the course of law. Okay? But, you see, here we are, some judges are in the game of contention. We tell them that the execution for uh, Rumbu, that is blasphemy, he would pay so good. Okay? Mind you, the learned lawyer, James Sangwa, once needed that the three judges were not qualified to be appointed as judges. They are appointed by the former president of the And I think that guy is making up. Some lawyer once needed that they used to give it to some judges in the middle of the night before the petition of Michael Dupree, before the petition of Ronald on technical reasons. That's why they discuss it. They discuss what? Only good news. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope this man is a danger to the democracy of this country. Oh, he's he giving his opinion. Yes, yes, and his opinion is a danger to the democracy of this country. Listen, all of us right now should be fighting for the heart and soul of the judiciary. 
this issue of the Judicial Complaints Commission, you can see that this has been choreographed or choreographed to suit what President Haka Ndei Chilema wants. This is a matter that has eight times been resolved to say there was no prima facie case against these judges. There were people that went and complained. Eight times the Judicial Complaints Commission made a decision in those eight rulings that there is no prima facie case against these judges. What has changed now? Two times Vincent Malambo said we cannot reopen this case because we don't have jurisdiction anymore. As a matter of fact, let me read that letter for context so that this man clearly understand what is wrong. The very Judicial Complaints Commission that you are saying made the right decision said this. I'm going to read it to you word for word so that you understand. So Vincent uh, Malambo addresses Mr. Joseph Bosenga and is, he says, reference is made to your uh, resubmitted complaint to the commission as indicated above, dated 30th of March 2022. The commission has considered your resubmitted complaint and found that the issues raised in your complaint were rightly or wrong, uh, were rightly or wrongly dealt with and concluded by the commission in 2017. In the earlier complaints lodged with the commission in 2016. By reason of issue estopel, the commission is constrained from revisiting the complaint. The delay in attending to your complaint due to circumstances beyond our commission's control is deeply regretted. Now, Vincent Malambo is saying, listen, the commission, now the commission does not change based on who is there. And this is the argument that we were saying that just because you have changed the Attorney General, the same Attorney General who came and argued that President Edgar Chagualongo was eligible, can't come back and say that he's not eligible anymore. That is what has happened. The, 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 it's the institution and not the individual who is there. You go with the opinion of the institution. Now, I've said eight times the commission decided that this matter was dealt with. And Vincent Malambo is saying whether the, uh, the commission decided rightly or wrongly, these issues that you raised were dealt with. We are dealt with. Now, if you are not happy with the decision of the Judicial Complaints Commission, what do you do? You go to court. And the court will say, no, 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 you were wrong. That's the time you go back. That's the time that the Judicial Complaints Commission was going to have jurisdiction to deal with this matter again. Now, themselves, just because the office bearers uh, uh, have changed, have decided that it's going to be different. Now, I'm going to address the members of the commission. Eva Jala, you are a lawyer. Do the right thing. You can't go in this way and join the president in raping the, uh, the judiciary. We need to protect the judiciary. We need to protect our profession as lawyers. We need people to have confidence in us. We need consistency in our laws. We need consistency in our decision. You can't change the decision because you disagree with the, 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 the persons that held your position previously. You are bound by the decision that, uh, that they made. And and you can't by yourself and whoever you are with there change the decision of the others without due process of the law. Is there an order of the court that has allowed you to reopen this case? No, there isn't any. And as such, you have no jurisdiction whatsoever to deal with this matter. Your chairman, your chairman, Vincent B. Malambo, has put it rightly. And it's for that reason that he has recused himself because the matter was dealt with. Whether it was dealt with rightly or wrongly, don't have you don't have to reopen this case and allow President Haka Indai Chilema to settle the scores that he's been harboring from 2016. You are not his tool. All right, you are a professional. We need to accommodate more more callers. Zero nine seven four eight seven zero eight seven seven. Hello. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Thanks. Your name? This is Bernard Mwamba. Bernard. All right. Go on. Yeah. I just want to appreciate. Yeah, we are speaking to us very well. Please continue in a good place. All right, thank you, Bennett, for that. 0974 Hello, good morning. Good morning, how are you, Mr. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Kapi Zulu. Good morning, sir. 
I'm one person who is very upset too. All right, sorry, we didn't get your name. Uh, oh, I'm Chanda. All right, go on. Yeah, I, I consider myself to be very objective on issues like you are talking about. Mm. Sir, the fact that we, we may claim that we keep our character healthy, we want to know, I think that's not correct. This man has continued to get the accolade to show the country. You know, the problem that they are put in case. They created in project for me and government. You know, things that are happening with online people or ministry people, I think they drop whatever you are complaining about. The right way they saw. You know, this man, I can I could do it to outlet you, even from the time he was in the position. Now today, you want to cite the people to accept the fact that we will be judged on a day, will not be in favor. This is simply because the truth of the law is going to prevail at that time. We should take all the way, whatever, whatever. I think that's the issue thinking. You know, people don't always have a way. All right, I have given so, you enough time, so you should be wrapping up now. So, so I think in short, I think people who are hallucinating that that kind is not popular, I think are wasting their time. Very much so. And you get me right one day. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Mr. Kelvin, we are not saying Akainde is uh, not popular. Akainde is popular, but he's popular for doing wrong things. He's popular for, 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 for breakdown in the rule of law. He's popular for killing our democracy. He's popular for doing all things that are just not right. The decisions that he has made have not been in the interest, the best interest of the people. The decisions is made in the mines. The decision is made in agriculture. The decision is made in, in, in terms of energy have not been in the best interest of Zambians. You talk of the hospital in Mambwe. I was member of parliament uh, for, for Malambo. The president went there to window dress and uh, uh, purportedly open that, uh, that hospital, which was built during PF. That is a project that is not even aware of. If you listened to his speech, he didn't even know what he was talking about. I know where that hospital came from. We set up that district hospital in, uh, in, in, in Mambwe, uh, Masumba area. We set up one in Msoro that were completed a long time ago. He messed up last year during the Malaila traditional ceremony. He sent his cadres who threatened uh, President Edgar Chagwalungu and myself. And now he only went back to go and apologize to the chiefs that I'm sorry, my cadres were violent. But he used that opportunity for that window dressing of uh, officially opening a hospital which he never built. The only thing that, uh, that, that, that he possibly could have built were the toilets in, uh, in, 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 on the copper belt. But in Mambwe, he didn't do anything. There's nothing that UPND has done in Mambwe, including that hospital that you saw. So if you, you, you think you are objective by only siding with the government and deciding what, what determines popularity, I'm telling you that for, 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 for me today, I'm not here to talk about uh, what, what, what judgment is going to come out. There's no judgment that is come out, coming out on Thursday. What I'm saying is that let the judge sit, let the judges sit and make their own decision without influencing it, without trying to 
to guide them in which direction they should decide. Let them decide on their own. You can't settle scores as a, at, at a time such as now because you don't like the three judges that will be sitting on a matter in which you have interest in. You remove them before the date of hearing. We are saying that is interference with the heart and soul of the country, the judiciary. And I'm calling on you to help protect the judiciary because President Haka in Dechilema is saying no office is limited. If not five, ten years. But he won't even hit that ten years. Or every person that is going to be a president, their time in power is limited. But this country is not limited. We shall continue being in this country. For posterity, for, for, for functional democracy, we need to protect the Constitution. And my call today is for the protection of the Constitution. Not for respect or, or, or campaigning for anyone. But, uh, but I, I'm saying let us protect the sanctity of our Constitution. Let us make sure that institutions are not taken advantage of by individuals such as President Haka Inde Ichilema. Let's tell him that President Haka Inde Ichilema, what you're doing is wrong. Because beyond you, your children will need these systems. Your, your, your grandchildren will, will need these systems. We need these systems. The moment the judiciary becomes unpredictable, it is going to be problematic in the... Uh, 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 it is going to be problematic for this country. We will not have any investment because investors want a judiciary that is uh, consistent and predictable. But if you're going to destroy it, you're destroying our lives. All right. Let's take in the last call. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Who do we have on the line? Uh, Your name again? George. George. All right, George. Go on. Yeah. Um, I've, I've been following this program and um, um, looking at the issues that um, Kanzu Makibi has raised. I shudder to state that um, we are truly in hell. Um, if there is a person that uh, President Ichima has really disappointed in the manner he's governing in this country, it should be me. I never expected him to go this route. Um, my baby, keep talking. We're all with you, and um, we are watching what is happening. It's the first time that um, politicians never learn. You know, UPN seems to have been ending the evils that we removed PF from government doing. I thank you. Thank you so much, George. We'll take that as the last call. And even as we close, um, we're coming to the end of the of the program, Council. But um, I know there's so many Zambians that are listening to you right now, aspiring lawyers, and um, don't want to be where you are today, and maybe take up some of these uh, positions. So, uh, what advice would you give them? You know, listening to the many issues, you know, what we've been discussing today, and you never know. Maybe some have been put off because it's pointing at intimidation. It's pointing at political inter. inter fear and so what advice what words do you have for those that you know would want to take up this profession I am calm now <laughs> and this is what I'm going to say the advice I would want to give anyone out there is fear God let Christ be your leader when Christ leads you you are going to make the right decision not self decisions that are just for yourself but also for the country what our country needs now is institutions that are strong institutions that are going to protect the rights of every Zambian institutions that are going to hold in esteem that very mother who is suffering down there and not want to perpetuate the whims or the, the stay of one person in power President Haka Inde Chilema, this is not about you being in power. This is for Zambia. Your fight is not against ECL or any Zambian. Your fight is to improve the lives of the Zambians. Your fight is not to destroy the judiciary. You will need it. Today, you may have people that want to please you. But 
things will change tomorrow we want a system that will be reliable a system that can be trusted the judges that are in the judiciary the magistrate i'm calling on you to do the right thing do not be intimidated because the very fact that you and i and all other lawyers swore to protect the constitution means that we are to stand by every provision of the constitution i must applaud vincent malambo who put it and uh, correctly and says we can't do this because it would be wrong for us to do this and has recused himself from 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 this uh, process that is uh, uh, killing our judiciary that is choking our systems we can all do that all of us zambians can do the right thing let us arise and fight these injustices within the confines of the law that's my call all right well thank you so much for coming through this morning it's been great having you on the show. thanks for having me home you're welcome all right so that's it for tuesday's edition of the hot sit and our guest this morning was lusaka lawyer makebi zulu you will join my colleague peter zulu on thursday for thursday's edition of all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.